Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penjum, welcome to Steampunk Tower 2. So Steampunk Tower 2 is a literal tower defence game. We are going to have a tower, a steampunk tower no less, and we are going to have to defend it. So our tower drops into the field of battle, if you like, in the middle of the screen, and then from the left and the right, enemies in various guises, so infantry and flying ones and big sort of steampunk robot-y things will be coming at us, and we have to use our various armaments and guns and rockets and whatever else we've got on our tower to defend defend against them. Now you may be thinking, what's this big flying thing here? Because this is not a tower. No, you are absolutely right. This is the Aurora. This is a ship that drops us into combat. It looks very cool. The art style of this game is lovely. It's sort of this style. And that's tremendous. Look at it flying through the clouds with the sun behind it. These things at the back kind of kicking out kind of smoke stuff. Steam coming out of it at various points. Yeah, it looks very, very cool. The art style is very, very lovely. So I've played a little bit I've played a little bit of this game just to kind of get out of the very early tutorial levels. So we're into sort of, not the, the heart of the game itself, but you know, we've got away from the, this is how you click and move and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, let's dive straight in, show. What I'm going to do is, there's a sort of, uh, kind of a battle map bit, if you like. We'll have a quick look at that. We'll go into an actual game. We'll do an actual thing, a fight. And then we'll go and look at all the other bits and bobs about upgrading your tower and your weapons and all that. And here is the battle map, and as you can see, it is set in Europe. So down here is Spain, here is Portugal, going up through France. We've got kind of whatever this is here, Germany you can't go to. There's a the UK, surrounded by a great big wall, I don't know what's going on there. And then you've got Italy and Greece and all the kind of Baltic countries and all that kind of stuff over there. But um, yeah, so at the minute, we've unlocked southern Spain, which is where we started, which is where very comically our secret base is very clearly labelled. <laughs> Maybe don't call it secret base, just put nondescript cottage or something like that. Nothing to see here. Really boring village or something like that. I don't know. And um, yeah, in part of the uh, game that we played through, the story mode, we have then unlocked Portugal, which is along here. So the battle zones are split into three types. So I think red is story mode. So red continues the plot, if you like. Yellow are things that uh, will play out and then will vanish and then will come back in a bit. So they're battles that will sort of respawn. And I think bronze are just, you can just do them as many times as you like, because they're probably not as tricky as all the other ones. So I think we'll do a yellow one. So the um, the sort of the theme of the, the storyline is that we are rebels. We're kind of a rebellious kind of faction. We're the good guys. And we're rebelling against the influence of the ominous cult. The sinister and evil cult who have come in and have stomped their dominance all over Europe. And we don't like that. They are in the wrong because they're all a bit evil. And then, um, yeah, so we're stopping them via the use of our cunning tower. Which I don't know if that's the best application for it. But there we go. That's what we're doing. So um, let's pick one of these. I mean, it's fairly arbitrary as to which one. Let's pick that one. So we're going to go over to this place and we are going to do a little bit of a fight. So we're going to come up against some infantry, some air units and a slightly less amount of prototypes, which are kind of steampunk contraption-y things. And as a reward, we're getting three regular kind of box crate thingamajiggers. Uh, this guy here, uh, Lord Bertram Bingen, he's our boss. He's a kind of boss guy. He's cool because he's kind of got like a robotic arm thing and it's all supported and he's wearing a long coat and people in long coats kind of look cool. So um, yeah, I get the impression that we're kind of British almost. I mean, Lord Bertram Bingham all sounds very British indeed. He's a lord. So I get the sort of hint that we're British and we're trying to, you know, get back and, and reclaim the country, uh, the continent and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Let's dive straight in. So uh, this zone can be captured automatically if you've already captured it at least once. The tower should be fixed. So I can go and capture it automatically, but there's no point doing that because that's not fun. We won't get the stuff out of it. So you can auto battle it, I believe. So this is how we do our tower. So yeah, I want you to go away, please. The tower should be fixed. Yep, hang on. How can I make that go away? Next, does she go away? Yes, there we go. So our tower can only hold four slots at the moment. We need to get it taller. So at its pinnacle, when it gets to its tallest, when we've unlocked all the bump, it can hold 10 weapons. But right now, we can only hold four. We're only two sort of blocks high. So we've got on our tower some wasps, which are little machine guns, and axes, which are kind of like mortar firing things. So there we go. Two of those are available, and three of those are available. So what we might do is, I think, at the bottom here, let's put an axe in there. So two mortars and two machine guns. That should be okay. Now, the only thing is, the mortars cannot fire into the ground, uh, into the sky, sorry. They cannot shoot air targets, because obviously they're like mortars, they're like artillery. But um, I think we should be okay. I think we'll be okay on one of these sort of easier levels. Now, another interesting thing is that the um, 
the you when you upgrade these things, you upgrade each individual gun. You don't upgrade the sort of the concept of a wasp. So the concept of that machine gun for all of machine those machine gun types. As you can see here, this wasp and this wasp here have been upgraded. They've got better bullets. <laughs> They've got more damaging bullets. Whereas this one here hasn't. So there's no real point in taking that one. I'd rather take that one, the upgraded one that causes more damage. So there we go. That looks about right. The tower armor is looking good. We haven't got any of the weapons or anything yet because we're only level two. So here we go. Let's go and do a battle. And this is what happens. Look, that's our tower. They literally chuck us off the airship that we saw at the start. And we fall into the ground. And there we go. So we get a little bit of time to set up. There's a very ominous skull thing we have to click on in order to, uh, in order to uh, in sort of initiate the battle. So here we are. So enemies will come from the left and the right. We have our things here. So we've got our uh, missile, uh, sort of mortar things at the bottom, sorry, and our machine guns at the top. And then um, at the minute, that's all we can do. There's going to be three waves and you can adjust the speed. But let's keep it on normal speed for now. So here we go. So we've clicked to trigger the first wave. So the first wave comes in. I love the sort of puffs of steam and stuff come out of it. It's tremendous. So over here is a big kind of walky kind of warthog type thing. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's several of them. There are several of them. Okay, so what we can do is we can swap these round. I believe... Can we bring that in? Can we bring that down and round? No, we can't. Okay, I thought we could move that. Ah, there you go. Let's bring that up there. Bring, oh, just go back up there. Okay, I'm not, oh, okay. How do we swap them around then? I thought that's how we swapped them. But no, they're doing okay. They're doing absolutely fine. We'll push you into there. There we go, that's fine. Now what we do have to do is, if you bring them into the middle, the yellow thing at the bottom, the yellow bar, is their ammo level. So we have to make sure that they are loaded full of ammo by moving them into the middle. They do reload ammo slowly on the outside, but if they're in the middle, they reload a lot quicker. So you want to move them into the middle. And while nothing's happening particularly, we might as well put them into the middle. Good lord, there is an awful lot of air power coming in. Oh my goodness me. Right, hopefully they can get that. Oh my goodness, there's loads. There's absolutely loads. Now if they get to the tower, obviously it causes damage. Uh, now when they go glowy... When they start glowing, it means that they've got a special attack. So we keep that special attack, which will keep it. Because these guys have got... Uh, is it going to be... It's just from this side now. And I think we're just going to be facing more of those little sort of stampy things. Whatever they were before. The uh, sort of steampunk monster things. No, we're not. Okay, so let's use our special attack. We can point it into the sky. And he just kind of goes all machine gun crazy. Okay, that's beautiful. And then with that, let's just fire that mortar... And it just killed a load of people in one go. That is beautiful. That's tremendous. Right, go back here and reload quick. Get there. Did a tiny bit of reloading. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Let's reload this guy while he's there. Just in case something comes... Oh my goodness. That is incredibly difficult to deal with. Okay, this is going to be really tough on these guys. Oh, there's loads of these things. So these are kind of armoured infantry, if you like. These are very tough. Our mortar things are going to have to do more than that. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. So these things will always pick the nearest. Oh, we're going to get really got. Right, okay, bomb them just there. Boom. Crikey, that was a bit close. That was a bit close. And then these little helicopters come in and uh, give us a lift back up to the big flying airship thing. So that's quite cool. So yes, we took victory only just that. I mean, we would have took some damage there had they got ever so slightly nearer. We would have taken some damage. So uh, yeah, we'll have to go back to the base and just see how we did. Okay, so we've got 20 experience points. Experience points are up here, so I'm level 2 and I've got that many experience points. So what goodies did we get? We got ourselves 250 monies, which is up there. We got ourselves 40 of these. I assume they're minerals, green spiky things. I, I'm going to call them minerals. And some stuff that we can use for research, sort of upgrading our items and such like. Okay, thank you very much. And now, as you can see, we've flown back to our uh, secret base and the cult... Now we'll attack in 11 minutes, 20 seconds in that place again. So the cult will always be attacking that if you leave it long enough. So uh, let's go and have a look at our base. Let's go and take a look at the secret base. So let's pick up some money whilst we're here. So um, yeah, this is our base. So some bits are built on, some bits are not built on, as you can see. So if you click on one of these bits, there's no blueprints for the construction just yet. Presumably we're not a high enough level or the game hasn't progressed to a story point where we can actually do anything. But like just here, if we wanted to... We could build a district for some clerks. 
so it gives us some money. So we get small taxes out of it. So we have to be level two. Not quite sure what the cog thing is yet. Maybe we need one of those. I don't know. And we need 150 minerals. So at the minute we can't do that because I've bought some guns and stuff. Uh, that's the armory bit, which we saw earlier on. And then down here you've got stuff like the industrial centre, which is about industrial ages. Down here you've got yourself the heavy cannons lab, which meant we could have the big shooty heavy cannon stuff. And over here is your machine gun laboratory. And um, yeah, I imagine these sites here that we can unlock are going to allow us to get these things. So that looks like electric. That looks like some sort of electricity shooting thing. That looks like it might fire kind of bladed projectiles. That's rockets, which is very cool. And that looks like some sort of shotgun. Or is that ammo? Maybe that makes improvements to ammo or something. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure about that one. So now what we could do is we could upgrade. We could upgrade one of our, um, one of our weapons could upgrade something. What about the other axe? Can't shoot the flying units, but if you can shoot the ground units quick enough, then that's quite good. So let's upgrade this, if we can. So what we have to do is, we have to drag these things in, and this bar fills up. So if we drag that in, ah, that is enough. Whatever this item is, whatever that thing is, I don't know what that is. It gives us 30 research points. Or oh, 30, I don't know what they are, but like improvement points. And when we've got 30 improvement points, we can upgrade this thing. So that's cool. So we've invested our points into this particular weapon and now we can upgrade it. So we can either have 10 more shells or plus 30 firing range. I think we go for the firing range. Not bothered about the amount of shells. I think the amount of firing range is good. If we can start firing at things further away, that has got to be a good thing. So there we go. And then, um, yeah, the next thing we need to do is upgrade our uh, heavy cannons lab. But we can't do that yet because we're not the right level. Let's pick up some money again from those guys. So, um, yeah, at the minute, we can't do too much. I think the story is sort of relying on us to go and do stuff. We could throw these into here and just start upgrading our tower. Because our tower can get upgraded. Now, I haven't done any of this. So, I don't know. Let's throw all these things in. So, we've actually put ourselves... We've got 20... Oh, that's it. Details, they call it. So, we've got 20 details about the industrial centre. So, if we get 10 more... We can load it into there. We might get an exciting upgrade for our actual tower itself. I think that's it. Or the ah no, the industrial center is this. That's the industrial center. Ah, the next upgrade opens a new technology level. Okay. Oh, that's quite cool. Okay, that's good. I like that. So um, yeah. How about we do the next story mission? We'll do the next story mission and just sort of push the story on a bit and see where that takes us. It might unlock more exciting shiny things. So. We are going to have ourselves some infantry, which is fine. Prototypes, as we saw before, which were those kind of armadillo walkie thingamabobs. Armoured cars, they're probably going to be quite quick. And a very, very small amount of air units. I think, Lord Bertram Bingham, I think we can cope with that. And I think we keep that exact same lineup that we've got there. Uh, the tower armour didn't get hurt last time out, so it's all good. So let's go and do battle. That looks tremendous. Look at it. Oh, now this is story mode stuff because that doesn't normally happen. There we go. Look. Tilty, tilty. And then just chuck it off into the ground. There we go. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad it always falls straight. That's useful, isn't it? So there we go. So we set up. And oh, there's five waves. Oh, my goodness. Right. What side do you want to trigger first? Let's trigger. Oh, it's both sides. Both sides start. Sometimes you get a choice. Sometimes you get a choice as to which side you would like to appear first, but not in this situation. So there you go. Regular infantry. There's a kind of shooty, uh, well, whatever it is, an armoured armadillo walkie thingy. <laughs> whatever that is, it's one just there. So that mortar thing should now be on it. Right, let's reload the mortar quick by pushing it into the middle of the tower. So that's going to reload, and it's fully reloaded. Now let's reload that quick. Once we just chuck a few more bullets in, that's that done. Right, reload these two. Just get them fully stocked. You're done. And you are done. Right, so we're back. Oh. Oh, okay. Hang on. I didn't I didn't know you could do this. How have I done this? Uh okay. I hope nothing's coming from the left hand side, because I can't see anything now. Okay, fine. Now these guys are gonna be the problem. These guys here are gonna be a big problem. Those guys there are not gonna be easy to kill. Oh, we need the special power thing. If he had his special ability, that'd be really useful. He does quite a nice amount of damage. I mean, they are walking in a nice formation, <laughs> which means he can do it. Do you know what? Use your special thing. Boom. Beautiful. That was well worth doing. Um, okay, now they're coming from both sides again. So this is wave three. We haven't seen the armoured cars. We haven't seen the planes. 
Ah, a new unit. A monocycle. Oh, okay. Well, they look quite cool. Oh, look at that. It's like a wheel with stuff on it. Oh, that, that's tremendous. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That is very, very good. I realised I didn't reload anybody like an idiot last time. Hopefully, they'll be able to last until the end of this particular run-through. Uh, yeah, we need to fire there, I think. Kill those guys. Yeah, kill them. Kill them now, please. Beautiful. And they're dead. Right, reload these guys while nothing's happening. Just reload them. Get them as done as they can. That'll have to do because these guys really need reloading. They've got nothing. They've got no defense of any kind. Quick, reload quicker, reload quicker, reload quicker. More reloading must happen. Right, you go to the front. You kill that thing. Bash, 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 bash. Good, gone. Right, then you go back into position there. Beautiful. That can drop on that. Now that can shoot it. I think that the, the shooty guns at the top always pick on the nearest target, I think. I think that's how it works. Right, you fire on that. Lovely. And you just do your machine gunning on that. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, it deflects off that a little bit. Okay. Right, you do your machine gunning. There you go. And you do a great big missile explodey thing. There we go. And then we can just pick you off. Right. Last wave. Okay. Do some re reloading. Do some reloading. These guys are now a bit low. Now, hopefully, one of our improvements we could get is quicker reloading of things. That'd be really useful. Get you guys in. Just start reloading you. You're good. Bring you back. Uh, push you to the outside. You're still reloading. But it's all air-based stuff at the minute, so we're fine. There's nothing on the ground at the minute that we could reach. So this is fine. Push you to just there. Are you fully reloaded? No. You are now. Good. Okay, bring you in. Commander, we're ready to use the tower's main weapon. Quick, activate the eye and then click on enemies. What? Oh, a steam ray. Oh, yeah. So she's one of my advisor people. She pops up and tells me stuff. A steam ray? What? Click here. Okay. Oh! Oh, yes, indeedy. Oh, that's just beautiful. Uh, yeah, I'm just blasting with a steam ray. <laughs> at this. This is tremendous. Okay, I've used up the steam ray. Possibly should have used it a little bit differently on all the other people, but never mind. It's fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Those guys are almost gone anyway. Look, there we go. One more shot. I think they'll be gone. One more mortar shot. I oh, know we can get him. There we go. Oh, the steam ray. <gasps> the steam ray was very, very cool. I like that. Okay, and rather than the little box that we saw before, the little sort of brown boxes, this is a big silver box with lots of cool things in. So, uh, oh, all sorts of things. 90 minerals and 220 of your monies. Okay, and the quest is done. So we get 50 XP, which means we're up to level 3, and we get 400 money. So thank you very much. We've reached level 3. So now we can put a train station. I don't know what that does. Uh, machine gun lab can be leveled up. Or we can get a district for scientists. That might be worth getting. Oh, that could be very cool. District for clerks and district for workers level two. Yes. Okay, that could be very cool. So here we go. Here's the story. But it's Lord Bartram Bingham says, Attention, everybody. I've asked Victor to join our team. He will execute an artillery support for us. Uh, and there's Victor. There he, he is. Oh, possibly she. With a moustache. But okay, whatever. This is honour for me. I think Victor's Russian, but I won't do a Russian accent. This is honour for me, but first I must finish the construction of my main cannon. I can't do it for the cult's fanatics. It's on a very important mechanism. I need to find them and get it back. So uh, yes, Victor needs a component. And there's Natalie, stood there in very steampunk appropriate garb. I believe this is the perfect time for building a train station. Okay, yes, trains. I do love trains, says Abigail, the obligatory female kind of mechanic in all of these things. Commander, you should proceed to train station construction and send Victor on a special mission. Should I? Okay. Uh, okay, can we go on to... Oh, hang on. It's telling me to click here, is it? Uh, okay, back. Oh, that takes me back there. Now I can build the train station and send our agents on special missions. <gasps> Yes, please. I would like to do that. However, it's going to cost all of my minerals. Well, okay, it's going to leave me with 80 minerals left. That's not ideal. Um, the improvement of the railway station will allow to send allow to send agents on longer distances. Oh, I see. So at the minute, they can just go short distances. If we improve it, they can go longer distances. I don't know. The station, I don't know, gets bigger trains or something. I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah, okay. Let's build this thing then. Let's build one of those. Now, how do we send somebody on a secret mission? Because this sounds like a lot of fun. There are three types of mission. Military, diplomatic, and spy. These kinds of missions let us get Ethereum. Ah, is that Ethereum? Is that what that is? 
the green, shiny, sort of pointy stuff. Okay, I feel like I need to click on Cordoba. Military, oh no, military. Deployment management on the cult's oracle capture. Okay, so we're going to send Victor. Only Victor is available for now. Send him on a mission. Okay, so we'll press start for... Okay, click Victor. I'm, I'm getting this. Then press start. So the character bonus will bring us 31. We'll get 106 from that anyway. And off Victor goes on a little train. There he goes. Look on the train. It's actually animated it in. Right, so Victor is on a super secret mission. Oh, and I've come back to the base and he's already returned. Has Victor received your cargo from the special mission? Okay, so I've got 137. And then he's going back out again. Okay, fine. So I've got 60 XP, 430 of your monies. I'll take that reward. Thank you very much. I'm afraid we have a problem, Commander. Oh, dearie me. Don't come to me with problems. Come to me with solutions. Our scouts report that the cult is planning a massive attack on Porto, Portugal's biggest seaport. We can't let this happen. You must get ready for this battle, Commander. I order you to take at least two heavy cannons and defend the city until Victor's cannon is ready. Then first off, we need to upgrade the tower itself and add more space for turrets. Enter the hangar. Okay, I was kind of hoping this might happen. Ah, oh, there you go. Do I need to drag these things in? Because that'll be perfect, because I've already done some. Here is the same situation like in the armory. I need details to upgrade the tower. You can get details in missions. Drag and drop details to the research area. Okay, so we only need 10 more. So if I drag this round thing in, which is worth 12, that should push us over the limit. Like so. Okay. So now what do I do? Do I click this? Improve tower structure. I've already done this. Go away, talky person. Um, improve tower structure plus one floor for the tower. So it costs us 800 monies. That's fine. I don't know quite why we're operating in dollars when we're in Europe, but okay, that's fine. So, all right, we'll increase the height of the tower. What does that do? More space for the overheated steam plus one charge for the eye weapon. Oh, absolutely. We'll certainly take that. Now, what I would like is that we need to get that up to 60. I don't think... That's, what's that, 20, 26. Yeah, we're not going to have enough. We're not going to have enough to get it. Oh, we're just shy, actually. That's really annoying. Look at that. If we throw all that in, that's 58. That's 58. We're so near to getting that upgraded. Oh, that is a terrible shame. That is a terrible shame. Never mind. Okay, we'll do that. Um, Where was the, the thing for scientists, whatever it was? I want to do that. That's a district for clerks. Is that the district for scientists? There. I'd quite like to put that in. Residential district for scientists, engineers and doctors. Favourable conditions for living, but also high taxes. Oh, oh it doesn't increase our, our sort of money or anything. Uh, our money, our science stuff. It just gives us money. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not so bothered about that right now then. Um, okay, can we go back here then? Do we have to do this mission or can we go and do another one? Can we go and do another one of these quick and just upgrade the tower again? That might be worth doing. That might be worth doing. So, um, yeah, I've realised then. So the brown ones, these brown ones here, are ones that we've already done. They are uh, story missions that we've already completed. That's what they are, because that was obviously red before. So that's where we've been. So that's the path of what we've done. So, yeah, I don't need a couple of story bits and a couple of these. Uh, let's go here. Let's do that. Bit of infantry, some air units, some prototypes. But now, now we can put more things into the tower. So let's untick all those things. There we go. The only thing is, I don't know, how do we determine which is going where? Click and choose which turrets you want to take to the battle. All right, the wasp. No, so that's the bottom. So we want the axe and the axe, and then wasp, wasp, wasp. And then we've got a gap on the right-hand side. Now, we might be able to flick things around. I don't know how to do it. I need to figure out how that works. But okay, let's just do this battle quick. Uh, battle bonuses. Uh, what does that do the eye charges here you can buy charges for super weapons or the steam ray as well as buy bonuses for the current mission oh no so i have to buy a charge for it for a thousand and i've only just got shy of seven thousand oh well, not on one of these missions i should be fine i should be fine maybe for the main mission yes i will certainly take a charge of massive super eye ray power but um yeah not on this one no let's just go and do a regular battle to get some xp and money and whatnot so we'll plop into the ground. <laughs> okay, so we're all sorted. I love the way they sort of lift up out the ground. It's tremendous. And look, we've got three floors. We've got three floors. Are you ready, bad guys? We've got three floors. Right, while they're doing that... Right, okay, there we go. That's how it works. Splendid. Uh, looks like there's more on that side in terms of uh, air power. So let's do that. This side's got these guys coming in. We can kill those guys. 
Oh, there's a lot going on, a lot going on. Right, kill the air, guys. You can come around this side. You can kill the guys in the air. There we go. Kill the air, guys. Mortar guy, get him. Beautiful. Okay, right. People into the middle. Just recharge as much as you can. You know, I would love to get a recharge speed increase thingy on this. So put you there. Put you there. Get you into recharge. Bring you in that way. And bring you into recharge. Reload. Whatever. Redo something. More bullets, basically. More bullets. They've got one of the shooty thingamabobs. It might be better if we have that in. Now, you can adjust the speed if you like. You can adjust the speed of how it goes. So we can put it to speed 2, look. And everyone just sort of moves far quicker. Just drag you guys into the middle. Might as well reload where you can. Okay. And I think we'll get you. There we go. Wave 3 is underway. Let's bring these people back in to recharge. Reload. Get more bullets. Those two guys are done. Right, you're all done. Tremendous. Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot at the things. Shoot at the things, sirs. There we go. Right, there's more air support on this side. Okay, no one's got their special power thing yet. Oh, there's says, And boom. That's that done. Uh, right, you go to that side. You do your special power thing at... Uh, the sky, maybe? You do your special power thing down there. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. And you just take all those guys out. Ah, brrr, boom. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, yeah, and you can just gun those guys down before they even get onto the screen. There we go. That's used up some special powers. That was pretty good. We'll reload you guys. Even though I'm fairly sure nothing is going to happen. I don't think anything's going to come from the right now. I think that's pretty much it. I think this is one lone sad guy who's just been smashed into pieces. Victory! Click to continue. Let's go back to the base. Okay, we've got ourselves these three things. Click, click, click. So, a bit of money and some various little bits and bobs. Right, so if we go back to the base and go into here, if I put, say, that in there now... That should tip us over 60. Ah, we unlock some more stuff. So, overheated steam comes out with more pressure. So, more damage for the eye. Or, more tower armor. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. That is a bit disappointing. I was hoping for something like quicker reload speeds or something. Um, Yeah, do you know what? Why not? Let's make the tower a bit tougher if it ever gets got. I don't think it's actually been hit yet, has it? It's not been hit thus far. But, um, yeah, okay, well, never mind. Is it worth... Let's grab the money from there. Uh, is it worth doing any of these upgrades? That gives us 250 money. So, the inflow of taxes. Okay, that gives us... We could buy another gun. We could buy another turret, because that costs money. Why don't we buy another wasp, just to fill it up so it's even, rather than to flick one round. Let's just buy another one of those. So, let's build another one of those. We shall... Fit it in, it shall all be fine, I'm sure. Now, can we upgrade any of them? 30. Oh, yeah, we can upgrade one. So let's do that and that. And let's give it um, more damage, like all the other ones. More damage, please. So when it hits, do more damage. Okay, I think now let's just go and do the... Uh, back to the map, sorry, wrong button. Let's go and do the actual thing here. Let's go and do this. So requirements, two mortar type things. We've got those. We're going to get a nice shiny box out of it. Bit of infantry, some slightly more armoured cars, not many air units, and possibly a bit more prototypes than we've actually been used to thus far. Okay, Bertram Bingham, off we go. Oh, no, I've got to equip the last wasp, haven't I? So let's put the last wasp on there. So now it's even. So each side has two wasps and one axe. Okay, right now, Bertram Bingham, off we go. No, not quite yet. Ah, this is probably going to be tough, isn't it? I think we invest. Do you want to buy sell with overheated steam? Is that for the eye? Is that what that means? Yes. The eye charges. Yeah, that's what I want, isn't it? You can buy charges for the super weapon of the tower. The maximum number of charges can be added by upgrades. Yeah, okay. Um, should we just have one or should we have two? Let's just have one for now. Let's have one and just keep the monies for now. Let's just see how we get on. Okay, we are ready to go and look. There's kind of a city. Kind of what looks like a bit of a destroyed city. Certainly these bits over here look a little bit worse for wear. So we've got one charge of our steam ray. Let's kick things off, shall we? Okay, this is very cool. I like this. I like the steam ray thing. That was a nice surprise to find out. That was very good. Okay, so the first phase should be fairly simple. I'm going to speed time on for the first lot. The first wave should not be difficult. They should be able to take care of the first wave pretty simply. Click on the call the wave button to get more steam for your steam ray. Oh, okay. Oh, that tops it up, does it? Oh, so if I don't give my guys a rest, it means like they actually get 
we get more steam for the steam. Ah, okay, right. So there are advantages then. Okay, that's fine. So let's do that. A new unit. Oh, what's that little funny thing? Right, hang on. Fire at it though, please. Blow it up. <laughs> Kill it, please. Oh, look. It's like a little sort of... I don't know what it is. Like a sort of... It looks like a, a, a lethal penny farthing almost. <laughs> which is an odd thing to find. Yeah, it's like a penny farthing, but with a gun attached to the front of it. Which is what nobody really wants. Right there. Killing that one quite nicely. Right, good. That's done. Let's bring you guys back in to reload. Stock up on bullets. Good old shooty bullets. Drag you in. Drag you in. And you are done. Right, bring those in. Now we could do that and get more steam ray. Right, it's just this side then, is it? Now, it's just this side. Right, okay, do your mortar thing. Go out and do that. That's done some, done some good damage. You might need to go and just reload ever so slightly. Go, go back out. That's one shot. Boom. Right, pick these guys off in the sky. That should be fine. Right, one kind of dangerous penny farthing tank thing coming in. And bosh. Penny farthing is now no more. Okay, we need to reload. Bring that side in. That's fine. Tops up the steam ray a tiny little bit. Not very much. It's a wheelie thingy, my bob. Kill the wheelie thingy. Kill the wheelie thingy. Right, everyone needs to get in because I've forgotten to put you guys back on point. There we go. Lovely. Okay, now we should get... Everybody should soon start getting their bonuses. Their sort of shooting bonus things. Which would be quite nice. Now, I think we can take these guys out here. I think this lot's fine. I think this wave is absolutely fine. It's going to be the last wave that's going to be a pain, isn't it? We can just pick these guys off. Look, that is nice and simple. Okay, we'll have left. And then we'll have right. And I think they're right for ammo as well. Maybe you need to go in and get maybe a couple more bits. That's fine. Right, you might want to use your special thing there. Whoa, boom. And then go back in and just heal up a bit. Not heal up. Do some stuff. Right, you can do that over there as well. Boom. There we go. That took one of them out in their entirety. Wow. Okay, that was a pretty good shot. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll have that. We'll have you. We'll top you up. Okay. This is, this is surprisingly easy. I thought this was going to be far harder. I thought this was going to be way more difficult. But no, the previous... One of the previous levels we tried was more, more tough than this. Okay. That's that thing blown up. Right. Get back in and reload. There we go. Beautiful. I like the, the spinny reloading thing. So you can see when they're done. That's quite nice. That's a nice That's a nice touch. Okay. Get you in. Oh my goodness me. Right. Okay. You just start indiscriminately firing. You get over there. You start indiscriminately firing. And it might be time for the eye. The eye. Hold on, Commander. Victor's Red Strike. Just give me the right coordinates. Oh, is that what you need to do? Strike here. Uh, where? Strike here? Okay. Oh, oh, right. Victor's got a gigantic... I would have preferred it to be struck a little bit further over, but okay. Now, oh, thanks, Victor. Great. I mean, I did just waste one of my eye charges, but never mind. Oh, wow. Victor just absolutely just, <laughs> just stole the show there. Well, thanks, Victor. I feel a little bit underwhelmed by my own performance there now. Oh, I thought I was doing really well. I was going to blast them with the big laser beam eye. Okay, we got various bits and bobs, these little sort of component thingies. A hundred green spiky things, some money and some cogs. I'm sure those cogs are very, very useful. And Russian power has been completed and we get some money and some XP. Lord Bingham, we are getting the signal from certain Miss Elizabeth von Brown. Apparently she is the daughter of Mr. Brown, your worst rival. Oh, not Mr. Brown. Oh, and there she is. Oh, the artwork in this is fantastic. That is just steampunk and a half right there. My deepest apologies, Lord Bingham. I do not voluntarily appeal to you. I have no choice. You are my last chance to save my people and my developments. Elizabeth, dearest, your father. I'm awfully ashamed of my father, Lord Bingham, but he's dead already. I'm the last of the Browns, and I should think of my company, my people, and my legacy. Our base has been exposed. The cult will definitely destroy us. It's just a question of time. You'll have some share of my developments. Please... Help us. Oh, okay. So he's not a cult member. Your dad. He's just a rival sort of technologist kind of person. Okay. Elizabeth, we have one global enemy and we will do anything to hold back the army of the cult to give you some time to get ready for evacuation. Okay. So SOS signal. We'll attack the enemy's location and do as much damage as we can. That will give us time to get uh, to, to ready. And, sorry, what? Give us time to get ready for the research center evacuation. <laughs> oh, dearie me. 60 XP, 490 money, and we've got to open North Spain, attack the cult, and upgrade the train station. Okie doke, right, three things for us to do. Well, we can upgrade the train station 
fairly straightforward, I would have thought. So there we go. We can send trains to northern Spain. Level 3, 150 of our monies again. Fine. So we upgrade the train station. Okie dokie. Uh, can we now... Can we use it? Can, can we do the train? How do we do the train now? How do we do missions again? Ah, okay. So you can click on the little red bits to do train station-y kind of mission things. Okay. So if we do this, it will cost... 702 monies, it will take 1 minute 25 seconds, which seems really weirdly precise, and Victor will go and do that, he'll get us 166, plus Victor brings back an extra 49. Well, okay, that's fine, chooser will go. Oh, sorry, did I not select Victor? Yes, there. So send Victor on a little train trip out to wherever it was, Porto. He can go and do that. Okay, that's fine. Now, while he's doing that, I just need to talk nonsense for a couple for a minute or so, which is absolutely fine. I'm very good at that. So we need to unlock... That was the next bit, wasn't it? Open North Spain. So now we've got to click on this. And because presumably we're level three and the story is letting us do it, we can now spend 1,500 of our monies to unlock Northern Spain. So there we go. It will reveal itself. Oh, where's that? Eastern Spain. Oh, okay. Right, that would make perfect sense. Uh, what do we get from the camp? We get 210. Wow. Okay, that's quite a lot of that's quite a lot of monies right there. That's quite a lot of money. So the train goes in. Now does the train come back? Yes. The train then has to make a return journey. Oh, there's little airship things. That's tremendous. Look at the little kind of airship blimp thing of a bob doing their thing. That's great. Okay, I like that. That's very, very cool. Uh, well, yeah, let's just wait for Victor to get back then. What's this doing? Am I supposed to be doing something really quickly? Attack the cult. Am I supposed to be doing something before that gets here? Because, because I'm not. I'm just sort of lurking around. I suspect I possibly should be doing something right now. Victor, get back really quickly. Victor, get back to the get back to the secret base, which is clearly marked on the map. Come on, hurry up. Chop, chop. Make your train go quicker. Get out and push it or something. It's fine. And he's home. So, uh, oh, here he comes. Hello, Victor. Woo woo. Get some money. Lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, you do that then. Come on, get off the thing quick. Right, I want to build a science thing. I want to get a science district in so they can build that. And then I think, yeah, I don't really like these things. I think we need to go and do this kind of, kind of now. Uh, so hardly any infantry, a lot of armored cars. A little bit of air unit and a tiny bit of prototype. We will be absolutely fine. Yep, same setup. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's Victor's rocket thing. Do you want to buy one charge for artillery? Absolutely. Yes, I do. Oh, so we've already had one. We've now got two. So that is why that makes building those buildings to give you money more apparent. Before, before all this was unlocked, there wasn't really any reason to have all that money. But now, now I know what that does. Okay. Right, that's very cool. I like that. So we've got two great big kind of artillery charges and we can almost use the eye, which is a little bit irritating, I'll be honest, because last time we didn't really need to use it. We kind of wasted it a bit. But okay, here we go. Let's go to battle once more. Okay, so our tower is in situ. It's crashed into the ground in this kind of fairly barren looking place. Uh, okay, well, no time like the present. Let's get things started. An airship. That's what we saw coming in. So that means, what's that? What does the up thing mean? We cause more damage against it, one assumes. So electricity weapons will cause more damage to that. Is that what that means? I think that might be what that means. Okay, well, if we hurry time on, because those airships seem fairly slow. Oh, they're fairly easy to take down, though. They're fairly easy to take down. Okay, that's fine. Right, yeah, we'll get a bit of airship power. Meanwhile, we'll drag you guys in to just recharge. Just get some more ammo on board. Beautiful. Oh, right, well, while we're doing that, you might as well go in then. You can get a bit more. Lovely. Go back out. You can do some shooting. It's all fine. Okay, we'll get these. These these will go. Those, that there is going to be a bit of a pain. These two need to be shot at. I was going to say more. They do have armor. Now, I think the artillery stuff removes all armor from an enemy. I think one artillery shot hit. Look, he's got blue on him. That thing. Then Oh, maybe it doesn't remove it all. It certainly takes it down quite a lot. Right, we need to drag you in to get some more ammo. And you, and you. You need to stock up on ammo pretty sharpish, to be honest. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go quicker, go quicker. Yep, you good. Oh, you're taking ages on your ammo. You're taking so long. Get more ammo. One last little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Right, you can do shooting up in the sky. You can do your crazy shooting stuff. Da -da 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 -da. You'll be fine against that. That should not be a problem. You should protect that. Out. It's on fire anyway. It's on fire. Come on, shoot it a bit more. Shoot it a bit more. It's on fire. 
Just tell him to have a cigarette or something in there. It'll explode. I've seen it happen. And boom, down. Um, okay, let's reload those. Get a bit of steam power back in. We'll reload these guys. So regular bullets are less effective, but big mortar shots are more effective. I think that's what that means. So these guys here will be less effective against this thing. Yeah, it seems they're taking a longer time to kill it. Okay, we, we possibly could do with killing it significantly quicker than this. And yeah, okay, this is good. Right, what way have we gone? Four out of five. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. I think we can kill these things. They look very cool. I also like the fact that the enemy vehicles are, and you know, whatever, artillery and people and everything are just like black and white drawings. I quite like that. I like the simpleness of it. Right, you're reloaded. Get you in. You'll have to do. You'll have to do. Bring you in. Bring you in. Right, okay. Here we go. This is where everything is going to kick off. Okay, right. You do more to things just there. Boom. So that was good. You do a mortar thing. Uh, oh no, I don't really want to do a mortar thing anymore. Over there, look. Might as well get rid of some stuff over there. Boom. Right, you fire into the sky really, really rapidly. You fire down there. We've only got one special move thing here. Uh oh. Oh no. Right, you fired all the guys down there. Just get rid of those troops down there. You kill these things in the sky, please. Uh oh. Right, you blow them up. Boom. Splendid. Oh, yes, and we didn't even need any of our expensive artillery stuff after all that. After all that, we didn't need it, and we've just saved whatever her name was from the cult coming to get her. That is very good. Okay, what do we get in the shiny box of goodies? We get ourselves a load of materially upgraded stuff, some money, and some green pointy stuff. And, uh, yeah, 60 XP. We're now on level 4, which is good, and I'll take that reward. Thank you very much. Because I'm on level 4... I can build storage level 2 and district for clerks level 2. Okay, I don't really know what that does. I confess, I am astonished your battle tower is just a marvel of technology. I know it's cool, isn't it? But I must warn you, our intelligence believes that as soon as we start the evacuation, the cult will send all his troops. Oh, is the cult a person? Okay, I would have said there. All their troops in this region on us. You should be very well prepared. Don't be so paranoid. There is a factory nearby occupied by the cult. It produces specific component parts. If you occupy this factory, I'll be able to improve our machine guns. This should be quite enough. I agree. It's time to upgrade the machine guns. Commander, you need to take control of the factory and send component parts to our base. Okay, so we need to control the factories. Okay, just right now. Uh, okay, well, let's go and do that then. No time like the present. Let's repair it. And then, uh, yeah, all right, well, we've got two of those charges. We've nearly got an eye charge. Yeah, why not? I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so we're in some sort of, like, barren industrial wasteland. Sped time up. Let's just move time on a little bit. Ooh, ooh, right. They've got landing pods now. Okay, right, landing pods make things tricky. And also, they seem, are they invincible while they're in the landing pods? Okay, yeah, we really need to upgrade the machine guns. They need to fire a lot quicker. They need to fire a heck of a lot quicker. Oh my goodness, they are almost upon us. They are almost upon us on this left-hand side. That is not good. Let's just do that. Good. Right, that sorted that out. That little sort of uh, artillery thing at the bottom did very well just there. That was tremendous. Right, one last shot on that, please. Okay, good. Right, you can go and just load up. You can go and load up. Keep firing, keep firing. Right, you go in and just reload now. Just stock up. While those guys are taking that airship out, you just go and get more ammo. Okay, you're done. Bring you in. Uh, yeah, bring this one out, actually. Give us a little bit of power. That's fine. Give it a bit of steam power for the laser face eye thing. Right, you can go out. You can go in. This is very cool. Right, this is good. This is good. We'll be fine. You go out. Oh, no. You guys need to hurry up a bit. You guys need to hurry up and reload. There we go. We can pick on these guys down here. No more drop pods coming in. Nope. Right, they can pick those off. You know what? The guys on the left have got low, got their sort of steam power thing on. The guys on the right... Oh, they have now. I was going to say, they're taking their time. But no, they've got it back on now. That's fine. Okay, pick on that guy. That's fine. Let's speed time up a bit. Everyone looks like they're okay, actually, for ammo. Let's just bring them in like near a bit low. Speed time on a little tiny bit. There we go. Right, bring you in. Push you to there. Push you out. Push you in just for a fraction of time. Just to at least get something. Yeah, we need you all back out. Okay, you fire at the sky. Just take those out. That's fine. You fire at the floor. Take them out. Da -da 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 -da. Beautiful. That's very cool. In fact, yeah, just fire that into the middle there. Kill a load of them. That's fine. <laughs> You're done. The right-hand side seems to have a lot less going on than on the left. The left-hand side seems to where it's all at. All the machines are coming in, and we nearly... This side got far, 
far busier than the uh, right hand side. But okay, that's fine. Right, do that. Boom. That took out one of the wheelie things. Take out the wheelie thing. There we go. Uh, yeah, you might as well do some crazy shooting. Just do some crazy shooting down there. That's beautiful. Take that out. And you've got one last go. Yeah, you can do some crazy shooting as well. It's fine. There we go. That's killed some people. And you should be alright with the rest of it, I think. Yep. They've got that sorted. And the guys on the right can surely take care of all this. They'll be absolutely fine taking care of this, won't they? If they have enough ammo. Right, that needs to reload. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Right, okay, there you go. Now fire, fire. Oh god, it's got to reload all the way to the top, is it? Oh, okay, I didn't realise that. Yeah, okay, should have noticed that. Should have kept that slightly more topped up. But it mattered not because we just took victory. And then they're going to take the tower away and we out the ground it goes. Three boxes of goodies. What do we get? We get some stuff and 60 pointed green things and some money and so yeah, some other sort of bits and bobs. 40 XP, 520 monies. Thank you very much. Lord Bingham, I beg you to increase the fighting power as quickly as you can. I assure you five turrets won't be enough to stop the corpse army. I've got six. Thank you very much. Don't worry, Elizabeth. We have a skillful commander. Hello. New machine guns. We're ready by the, by the time of the evacuation. Sorry for interrupting you, Commander, but we are intercepting an interesting intelligence data. Maybe it will be helpful for you. We found a secret military testing area occupied by the cult. Local rebels say that cult administers tests of shotguns there. Shotguns. We should definitely capture this testing area. I'll be able to adjust the technology to our tower and you'll get unique turret improvement, whatever it is, for the impending battle. Okay, so each factory produces unique component parts and necessary for turrets upgrades. Okay. So what does that do? This factory produce, produces steam actuator. Okay, it produces the component part for level 2 machine guns. Send one to the base. Ah, okay. So if I claim that for some money, that then gets sent on the train all the way down to our base and we can do stuff with it in our base. Okay, and now I've got the upgrade. We need to upgrade the lab to level 2. Okay, so it unlocks machine gun upgrade level 2 in the armory. Can I afford to do that? Yes, I can. Okay, so we're unlocking machine gun lab level 2. Okay, that's cool. Now go to the armory and upgrade the machine gun. Okay, so wasps are what we want to upgrade then. They're the machine guns. So, uh, okay, well here's one that hasn't been upgraded yet then. So let's do that. We need 30. Let's drag that in, shall we? That gives us enough things. And um, what can we have now then? Oh, one of these. Oh, hang on. No, let's do it on... Uh, oh, that'll be upgraded anyway now, won't it? Hang on. Where is it? That one. Oh, we can choose one of the upgrades. Okay, well, let's pick that armor-piercing stuff. So we need to get it up to 70. Can we do that with all the stuff we've got? Uh, okay, well, that's another 12. That's another 10. So, okay, that should do it then. Okay, so now what does this do? Improve machine gun. Oh, it just literally just improves it and makes it shootier. Okay, be ready to fight has completed 80 of those, 550 of those. Commander, you must defend my people and my cargo during the evacuation, although I'm still nervous because of the possible consequences. Miss Brown, no, no need to worry. Everything is ready. Who are you? Who's Vincent? Everything is ready for the evacuation. I will personally see to the export of the cargo with the new technologies. I don't trust you, Vincent. You look too handsome and you're not wearing a hat. Meet Vincent, my protege and... Lover? <gasps> My goodness. Assistant, he is responsible for the safety of our main research, who gives a signal when the evacuation is over. Nice to meet you all. Buy me some time and I will do my best to save people's lives and valuable cargo. But it's obvious that your giant tower can defeat any army because you've got such a skillful mechanic. Oh, you flirt. I don't like him. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Gotta hold on in battle for a designated time. Okay, that's fine. That gives me 200. That gives me 500 monies. Okay, that's quite cool. Um, okay, well, how about we just go and do the next battle then? What was the blue one? Test your tactical skills in a bonus level. Ah, okay, that's just a bonus level. Uh, let's go and do the main thing. Let's go and do our main quest. So yeah, a bit of infantry, some armoured cars, air units, and a very small amount of prototypes. I think, I think we've got that absolutely sorted. We'll repair that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Let's rock on. We've got two of those charges uh, we've got whatever one of those things are. Bonus for the mission. What's that? All oh, the turrets are charged. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, thank you very much. That's quite handy. Okay, so there are no, uh, there's no sort of waves. We've just got to hold on for as long as we can. Okay, fine. Well, let's get on with it. Let's put it on speed two. Oh, so it's three minutes. Well, or slightly less than three minutes because I'm speeding it up. 
But yeah, these first rounds should be fine. We should be absolutely fine on these first goes. So yeah, we just, just, just keep going. That's fine. Now yeah, we do need to actually tactically do this, don't we? We need to make sure that everyone can still keep shooting things because we can easily run out. So let's put you there. That's fine. Have you recharged? Yep, you've restocked on ammo. As have you. What on earth is that? A tractor? Oh, that sounds horrendous. I don't want to fight tractors. They sound dangerous and scary and difficult to kill. Right, bring you back. Uh, you fight at... Yeah, shoot shoot at that thing. Absolutely just shoot at it. There we go. It's on fire. The tractor's on fire. That's probably a good sign. I think that's probably a good sign. Uh, and you can fire at those things. You can fire at... Oh, 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 oh. If we can time that right. Uh, boom. And it took out a person as well. Beautiful. Right, you get in and get shooting. Get in and get shooting, please. Right, good. Bring them in just temporarily. Just anything. Just get some ammo on board. Like that. Bring you in. Get some ammo on board. 1 minute 40. We need to survive. Can we survive that long? Good grief. Right. Uh, do some shooting. Do some crazy shooting. Shoot it. Oh, the tower took some damage. The tower's taking damage. We need that thing in. Boom. Right. Okay. We are going to need to bring this. Right, you need to do some crazy shooting at those guys. You need to come in and just get some ammo on board. Uh, you need to fire at the sky, please. The sky's got things in that are going to hurt us. And you need to just target there. Just like that. There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, you go in. You go in and you go in temporarily. Just really quickly, just go in and just grab some stuff. You can stay in. Lovely. Okay, get more, get more, get more, get more, get more, get more. And you're good. Right, bring you in. Bring you in for a little bit. Okay, this is harder than you think, actually. This is harder than you think. It requires quite a lot of sort of, uh, sort of planning. Right, okay, let's just do that there. We'll block two of those wheel things. That's fine. You target those over there. Shoot the wheelie, those thingamabobs, whatever they were. Right, and then some mortars over like that. That's good. You need to come in for a little bit. Oh, no, he's ran out of ammo. The mortar just there ran out of ammo. That's not good. That's not going to help. Okay, do the shooting. Do the shooting. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, can we do uh, strike here, this side? Do a tank thing and boom. <laughs> right, okay. That sorted that out. That's beautiful. Right, get... Oh, they're still coming. They're still coming. Right, get people in. Get people in on this side. Oh, you've run out of ammo. You're going to run out of ammo. Right, you're restocking on ammo. That's not so bad. Right, throw that in. Do that. We need to do that on that side. We need to fire that. Yes, great big thing in above, shooty thing. Oh my goodness, look at the left-hand side. Get us out of here. <sighs> okay, I'm glad they all stop. Wow. Okay, fine. We took victory, just. Okay, 70 XP and a shiny box of things. Ooh, lots of lovely things. That's very nice. I'm immensely grateful to you, Lord Bingham. Everything went well, but where is Vincent? <gasps> oh no. Oh, Vincent, the evacuation has completed. I shall take my reward. My God, it can't be true. My cannons have been stolen. Vincent has stolen the lorry with the cargo of the newest type of cannons. I said I didn't like him. He wasn't wearing a hat. Indeed, only one lorry has changed its route. We have lost its signal somewhere in eastern Spain. You underestimate the importance of this loss. He has stolen the technology of the new Tesla lightning cannon. If he sells it to the cult... We are certainly doomed. All right, drama queen. Don't worry, Elizabeth. We'll start a large-scale search campaign to seek for Vincent. Commander, we need her permission to enter the airspace of eastern Spain. I think you'll try to escape through the port of Valencia. Okay. And, um, yeah, okay, fine. We'll accept that. I think you get the idea with that, but that is very good. What's the purple thing? Test your tactical skill in the infinity level. Difficulty level two of infinity. Oh, that's very cool. There's lots of extra little bits and bobs you can do. So yeah, this is very good. Steampunk Tower 2. Now, I didn't play Steampunk Tower 1, so I don't know how radically different or not it is. But this is very, very good. I like this. I like the actual main gameplay level, but I like the fact there's all these extra little bits you can do. You can send the guys out on their trains to go and get little, you know, go out on secret spy missions. And you can do these extra training things and you can do sort of tactical levels and all that kind of stuff. I quite like that. It's very, very good. I think it looks good and it has a story of sorts. And, you know, I mean, yeah, OK, it is just leading us through these levels, but at least it's doing it with a story involved. And I would be intrigued to know what the great big wall is around good old UK, because that doesn't look very friendly, does it? Does not look very friendly at all. But uh, yes, I think that will do for now. You get the idea. 
please let me know what you thought. If you thought this was good or interesting or whatever, we might pay a visit because I quite like the idea of the Tesla Lightning Towers. They sound quite cool. So yeah, let me know what you thought. If you'd like to see more and maybe one day it could make a reappearance. It, is it good for a live stream? It could be a good live streaming sort of game. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Please do. And I shall let, I'll consider it. If you like it, you might have thought it was terrible, in which case we won't consider it ever again. <laughs> but yes, let me know either way, please. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with stuff like this that we play in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. He's gone down the lift sooner they're not built. The lifts aren't finished. People, people, this is very dangerous. Martin said it's fine and gave me a negative review. You silly man, Martin, you've clicked the wrong button. It looked like he had no trousers on, which was a little bit strange. Oh, Linda, with your gleaming golden words of appreciation. Linda says, eh, no okay, hotel.